Winter is barely over in Australia and already the first big bushfires of the season. In the suburbs to the west of Sydney, homes already lost. Hundreds forced to flee. All you can do is make sure your house insurance is paid. That's many. Oh, I want to pull my eyes out. <laughs> it's sad. Schools too were forced to close. We got evacuated because um, we had a bushfire in front of our school. People in New South Wales are well used to wildfires, but not so early in the year. Unseasonably high temperatures, high winds and almost a month without any serious rain have left the bush tinder dry. We have seen temperatures today in the early 30s, but it's this strong wind that's really causing firefighters uh, some issues as it pushes these, this fire uh, towards homes in Nut Road. Firefighters fought on the ground, but also from the air. 521 firefighters and 208 appliances are responding from New South Wales Rural Fire Service, Fire and Rescue New South Wales and the National Parks and Wildlife Service. Strong gusty northwesterly winds continue to affect the fire grounds which are not expected to uh, abate until later this evening. Temperatures are expected to drop on Wednesday, but the Australian Bureau of Meteorology has recently announced that last year was the hottest on record further increasing fears about the impact of climate change. These will not be the worst bushfires this season, but coming so early, it's an ominous warning for the summer. John Donison, BBC News, Sydney.